Alrighty, welcome back everyone, I'm Blaze here. Today's video, I want to talk about a item that I just recently got, the best in slot streamed instrument in the game at this point in time, called Loot of the Flowing Waters, which comes from a minor raid boss in Plane of Water. And what's really sweet about it is it has an instant click Wind of Mar cast on it. So this is the group only mana song that bards get level 62. And then at level 64, you get the AOE version of it that'll hit everybody within range. Chorus of Mar. And from what I determined the mana regeneration on both of these songs are equivalent and the HP regen is also equivalent on both of these songs. There's really no difference between these two beyond Wind of Mars just group only and Chorus of Mars everybody within range. But I wanted to test out mana regen. I wanted to see if there was any effect of using just the clicked version of the Loot of Flowing Waters versus the actual casted version of say Wind of Mars. And what I found out is there's no difference at all. If you do an insta click off of this loot, it's 19 mana regen. And if you cast Wind of Mar or even Chorus of Mar yourself, it's still 19 mana regen. So this loot gives you just as much mana regen as if you were to cast it. The only difference is how much HP regen you get off of it. But that's mostly irrelevant because bards play that song mostly for the mana regeneration, not so much for the health regen. But what's really cool about this is that since it's an instant cast, you can theoretically free up a slung slot in your melody. So what I mean by that is so long as you don't need to do an AOE HP mana song, you can drop mana song entirely from your song playlist and free it up for another thing to go in that slot like Kata Song Sword Dancing for extra dexterity or say Nilipus March of the Wii for a little bit of a rune. I actually have a mem spell set I made just for it. Save as sick song twist. So this is actually a sick song twist that I can keep up permanently. And why it's a sick song twist is because with the loot being an insta-cast buff and with the Breath of Harmony that you get in Kunark and Sevelis being an insta-cast bu uh, buff, Niv's Melody of Preservation, a little extra HP regen, I can consistently keep up six songs simultaneously if I choose to make a twist like that. So if you want to watch, I'll do a four song melody, just these top four. Bishan, Nilipis March of the Wii, Rizlona, and War Song is X. So those are the four songs going on in my twist. And then if I do my little macro to get both of those clickies to go off, bam. I have six songs and I can keep them up permanently so long as I get my macro to use those items to go off. So what I mean by that macro is all you do is slash use item and then you type in the name of the item and it will use that piece of equipment from your inventory and put it in your songs, your song buffs. The only issue is that there's a patch that's really needed. There's a bug that'll happen that if you use an insta click or a nine year insta click right near the end of the song cast, it can jam you up. It can cause a melody to stop and it can lock up your song gems. But what I've found is so long as you cast, you use that insta click cast macro somewhere around like 75% of the song left around 50, it never jams. Like if I cast it right around now to now, it won't jam. Anywhere from 75 to around halfway on the song cast and it won't jam up. But yeah, that's a really nice trick I wanted to share with all of you. A way to have six songs going simultaneously permanently and to always have max mana regen even without playing mana song itself by just using it clicky. And I think also this loot can be of great use in uh, 
Wraith Council and Plane of Earth B. And that's a way to help yourself regenerate mana. Or sorry, it's a way to help keep your HP regen up when you're doing pulls of those Wraith Council members that do this really nasty curse dot on you. It's a great way to keep your HP up. But that's all for this video. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.